In the previous part of the video I gave some basic explanation about how QRS is working. Now I come to the more important part of the video in which I want to explain the proven biological effects of QRS. What can you expect if you start using the QRS two or three times per day? The first important effect is that QRS results in a strong improvement in your blood circulation. The key function of blood, in particular red blood cells, is to transport oxygen from your lungs to all the cells and tissues in your body which need oxygen. The second function is that when it arrives at the cells and the tissues and it delivers the oxygen then it has to bind with the CO2 and the waste material from the cells and remove it out of your body. When we get older in general there's two problems occurring with our blood flow. One is that our blood is getting thicker. All our red blood cells start to glue together. That is called the Rouleau effect. So the result is that your blood gets thicker and also your red blood cells. Many of these cells are not able to bind with oxygen anymore because they are stuck in a bigger group of red blood cells. The other thing which happens when you get older is that your capillary network, you have about 40 billion capillaries in your body, starts to get narrower and narrower because of stress, because of calcium deposits, because of fat deposits. And it is in this capillary network that your blood needs to deliver the oxygen to the cells and the tissues. So you have two combined effects. One, your red blood cells start to glue together and your blood gets thicker. Two, your capillary network gets narrower. Now your heart has to make more effort. It has to try and push the blood through, which automatically results in an increase of blood pressure. But more importantly, your blood is no longer able to reach all the cells and tissues of all your organs and cannot deliver the oxygen that your cells and tissues are needing. Now what is QRS doing? QRS has a strong impact on all your red blood cells. About one third of all the cells in your body are red blood cells and your red blood cells consist of hemoglobin and hemoglobin consists of a lot of iron. QRS is a pulsating electromagnetic field and as soon as you start the QRS all the red blood cells start to be attracted to the QRS mat and because of the pulsating effect they start to be repelled so all the red blood cells start moving within two or three minutes your blood becomes instead of being sick it becomes thinner and every individual cell is now separate, so every individual red blood cell is now able to bind with more oxygen. So you breathe more oxygen. That's the first effect. The second effect has to do with nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is one of the most important molecules for cardiovascular health. And if you use the QRS, then your body starts creating more nitric oxide. The result is that your capillary network starts to dilate, it starts to become more wider and the combined effect is with your thinner blood and your wider capillary networks. Now your blood starts to flow everywhere to all your cells and tissues and it also results that your heart does not have to push so hard. So QRS normally results in a reduction of heartbeat and also a reduction of the blood pressure. But more importantly, now your blood is able to deliver oxygen to all the cells and tissues which need oxygen for repair.